Can I lose weight and gain muscle at the same time? Do you want to put on muscle and tone your abs while losing weight? The scale is moving down, but you're not getting the strong body you're aiming for. Despite your best efforts to control your diet, attend to the gym, and lift weights. It's possible to lose weight, so why is that so difficult? Is it feasible to increase muscle and reduce fat at the same time? The answer is yes, but it takes a lot of work to accomplish both. The first two key ideas are that building muscle and losing weight are two very different things, and these objectives frequently clash. Your body needs to be in a caloric deficit, which means it is more difficult for it to maintain its present weight when you consume fewer calories per day in order to lose fat or weight. The challenging part of this is that your body must have an excess of calories in order to grow muscle. This excess gives your body the energy it needs to heal itself and subsequently gain muscular mass. So see this tip on how to gain muscle while losing weight. 1. Remind yourself, your food defines you. First and foremost, keep in mind that exercising won't help you increase muscle mass while also losing weight. It all essentially boils down to your diet. To ensure that your body and cells are properly supplied without going over your caloric deficit, it's critical that some people recognize meals that are abundant in nutrients yet low in calories. You will eat a certain number of calories every day. At that point, your body can choose to use those calories for fuel, regrowth of muscle, or fat storage. For our bodies to simply function, their calorie intake must be managed. A low calorie intake can cause disruptions to your metabolic rate. Your metabolism slows down to help you live when your body perceives that you are malnourished. Inadequate calorie intake might also cause your body to retain fat and cannibalize muscle, which is not what you want. 2. Make protein-rich foods a priority. You must make sure that your diet includes adequate protein if you want to consume foods that are high in nutrients but low in calories. It may be beneficial to do this. When you eat enough high-protein food and maintain a caloric deficit, your body will burn more calories than you take in. It also gives your body the nutrition and energy it needs to repair its muscles. Foods high in protein are essential for both gaining muscle and burning fat. 3. Strength Training You must engage in weight training to really grow muscle mass in your body. This involves lifting relatively big weights until your muscles fail and become fatigued, at which point they will rip and degrade. It's during this process of healing that you will gain strength and clarity. Make sure you are getting enough calories when doing resistance training so that your body can be fueled and muscles can be rebuilt. Not every strength training program will be suitable for you, depending on your overall health and fitness objectives. Before beginning a new fitness or physical activity program, it is advisable to consult with a trained sports trainer or fitness specialist to lower your risk of suffering from a muscle injury or joint pain. 4. Don't be hurry. Patience is undoubtedly a virtue in our fast-paced society, but it also has many advantages, especially for our long-term health. Keep in mind that even Arnold Schwarzenegger didn't become a bodybuilder overnight if your goal is to gain muscle and shed fat. Even though it could be tempting to lose weight as soon as possible, you might end up losing muscle and fat. Rather, concentrate on a diet plan with a weekly weight loss target of no more than one or two pounds. You can be sure that you're primarily losing fat rather than muscle with a gradual decrease. It could be counterproductive to your muscle growth and health objectives if done too rapidly. Your body can use fat reserves as fuel and possibly even as a source of muscle growth if you can continue lifting weights and keep a calorie deficit. Making protein-rich meals a priority is essential to simultaneously gaining muscle and decreasing body fat. But keep in mind that changing your body composition won't happen instantly. In the long run, you'll benefit from having patience. Hope this video helped. Thanks for watching.